Welcome! Today I'm gonna try something that I haven't tried before, like always. So I'm basically gonna do a flash fire, refire, pit fire, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you may recall I had some problems with some bases that actually turned out really nice, but there was some flaking off of the Terra Circulata. And I did a pit fire, refire in the last video, but now I'm gonna do a flash fire, refire. So let's get on with it. This vase uh, from one of my recent fires actually turned out really nice. If you look a bit closer here, I really, really love how how the dark at the top and, and these patterns on this side turn out. Unfortunately, on this side, some of the tear cigalatas uh, flaked off. And I mean, you could leave it like that. I kind of like it in a way, but it also leaves it a little too pale, a little too white here compared to the other side. And of course, I could do a refire pit fire like a last time. But today I'm going to try something completely new, to me at least. Others have done this before. So I decided I want to do a flash fire. So what is a flash fire? Well, basically a flash fire is a technique where you take uh, some colored paper. This is Christmas wrapping. <laughs> These are supposed to be good. A um, couple of different kinds. Sometimes you can also use uh, editorials. Uh, not always works. Uh, it depends on how it's printed and I can't give you much guidance on that, but um, try it out. Um, so what I did with this one is that first of all, I kind of scraped off all the, the, the tear cigalata that, that was flaking. So I got all the loose ends off. Kind of like when you're pinning a wall, you gotta get all the loose stuff off first. And then I used a diamond sponge and grinded it so, so it now feels nice and even. And then to just smoothen it a little bit more, I used a steel wool um, and um, just brushed it off a little bit to make sure that it all looks uh, even and, and smooth. And then finally, I just cleaned it with a, a kind of damp cloth here. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wet when you, when you, when you do this, um, because we're going to wet it anyway. So now it's ready to be flash fired on this side. So, as I said, what you do is you use this, um, I use wrapping paper, colored uh, paper, um, and what you do is you apply it to the pot and then you burn it directly into the pot. That sounds strange, right? But it's really fast and you get immediate results. If you don't like it, you can add some more uh, or, 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 or burn it off again. And it's very flexible and very fast. I kind of like that idea. So I'm just going to cut out um, some of this wrapping paper. I'm just going to try and start with this um, this wet one to begin with. Oops, flying around. <laughs> um, I've seen some people use water uh, on it. Um, it's I don't think it's super important, but it kind of helps it uh, to stick, so it doesn't fly around. So you can kind of put it um, put it on like this, like a glue. Mm -hmm. Um, put a few more pieces on. I've seen some use several layers um, of different colors. Um, I think that's ruble as well. Um, so it's just gonna be this one. Side here. going to start just with that. As I said, you can always do more. Now, next step is to move it to a fire safe um, area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put uh, one of my pin stones uh, on the top of my barrel and I'm going to move there. So now we're ready to try and fire it. I have this gas burner, I think any kind of hand-based uh, gas burner. You probably also use a, a weed burner, bigger one. I'm going to try this.
now um, fire it and let's see if we can remove it. Um, this looks interesting. It can get a little bit sticky on um, on areas where you already have chassis gelata, um, but I think we can, we can remove that. You can take it with a bit of, um, of the steel wool. Look at this. I got some very interesting, um, I need of course to clean this, but I got some interesting um, bluish, yellowish uh, colors here. I think I may want to apply a, a second layer. Um, see if we can take this off. Um, it does it does stick a little bit to where the chairs of the last one was. Um, but as you see it's it's quite easy to get off. Um, it doesn't it doesn't appear to peel off the chairs of the last one. It's just um, I don't know if the tear cigalata sort of melts a little bit and um, and yeah. So now it looks much more interesting. And I mean that took a few seconds. So I think I'm gonna apply a another layer, maybe of a of a of a different kind. But I think this is um, this is now super exciting. It's very different on on the two sides, but again, I think this is worth experimenting a little bit more. So that was all for today. It was a very short video, but I think this turned out really interesting. I'm definitely going to try and pursue that a bit more. Now I'm going to try one more layer of maybe a different color uh, of of wrapping paper, and um, and then I will seal it. Uh, I usually use a acrylic spray or some uh, wax um, I think I will use um, the acrylic spray on this one um, try it out it's super fast and of course you can use it also on um, on pots that haven't been pit fired at all so you can use this as the only way of coloring your pots it is super fast and it's really really fun but try out different kinds of paper some work some doesn't I haven't seen examples where it actually destroyed the pot uh, with the wrong kind of paper it just doesn't leave any color so Try it out. If you like this and more of my, my crazy experience with uh, pit fire and low fire pottery, uh, please subscribe and share. Make a comment if you have any questions and I um, hope to see you soon again.